Welcome back guys. As you can tell, we're not out on the water today. We've actually took a couple weeks off from fishing to do a little work to our boat that we've been putting off for a while. Uh, for those of you who follow the channel, you know I bought this boat about a year ago. I planned on doing some work to it when I bought it, but I kind of just went straight to fishing. So it's been kind of some bad weather, windy and cold. So we've took a couple weeks off to get some of this work done on this boat. What we're going to do today, guys, is something I've been wanting to do for a while. We're going to build us a sinker box it's gonna be stationary in the boat. It's never gonna move, so it's gonna be bolted down. It's gonna organize my sinkers one through 12 ounce. I figured some of you guys might enjoy watching a video like this, just something a little different. And maybe some of you guys will get some ideas for what I'm gonna do. Maybe you can use it on your boat. I'm gonna be making mine out of mild steel and welding it up. But if you guys don't have access to a welder, stick around, because I'm gonna talk about a couple different ways you can make these without having to touch a welder. So what I've always used in the past is an ammo box or an ammo can, whatever you want to call it. The problem with that is say you're getting low on uh, five ounce weights and there's only three of them in there. Well, here you are digging around in all these weights trying to dig the four or five out and it, it gets annoying and you end up having to dump the whole box out and then they're laying out in the boat all day. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I think it's gonna save me a lot of time out on the water, save me a lot of headache. This boat I have has aluminum boxes down each side along the floor. I think that serves two purposes. The main reason being that they are foam filled to add flotation to the boat. Uh, the second reason is to clean up that floor seam down through there. So my plan is here is to build a box about 28 inches long with dividers in it. Now these dividers, these slots are going to start small and gradually get bigger as we go. It'll be 1 through 12 ounce. I'm going to bolt this thing down so it stays put. And it's going to be up out of the floor, out of the way. So here's what I'm going to be working with. It's 4 and a quarter inches wide, 8 inch thick, flat bar. Just some old rusty scrap metal I had laying around. We're going to clean it up. We're going to get our saw out, get this stuff cut up, and we'll start piecing it together and kind of figure it out as we go. Caps packed on, it's starting to look more like a box now. As you guys can see, we got some major, major bows going on here. This is some old sheared metal and it's bowed up real bad. But uh, as long as you always put your bows on the outside when you're working on something like this, you can always take you a clamp and pull it in. Now, if you put your bow on the inside, that's a different story. You're gonna have to come up with a way to push it out. But it's always easier to put a clamp on there. You can pull it in. These are going to be the dividers that go in it. So we have two ounce, three ounce, four, five, six, eight, and then tens and twelves will be here on the end. So we're going to go ahead and start measuring these dividers out and tacking everything up. I got it clamped down to the flattest table that I had. Still not really, really flat, but we're going to get it all squared and start tacking everything up. Once we start getting these dividers tacked in, we'll be able to hold it where we want it to keep it squared. So as you can see, we've got all of our dividers in. They start smaller and gradually get bigger by like a quarter of an inch. And then once we get here, we went ahead and went an inch and a half bigger down here on this side. You might be wondering why I don't have a bottom in it. Well, it's actually gonna be bolted down to that aluminum shelf that I showed you guys earlier. So the actual piece of aluminum that it's gonna be bolted to is gonna be the bottom of it. So we're gonna put us a couple little brackets on here to bolt it down with. It won't take much because the weight of the lead is going to pretty much hold it in place. We'll just need a little something to, to keep it from uh, falling off while we're running up down the highway. But we're going to get our brackets on there tacked on and then we'll start welding it up and then we'll be ready for paint.
So I just welded a little a little piece of scrap metal on here and drilled a couple holes in it. We'll run us a couple screws down in there and should be good. I got everything welded up. There's a ton of spider on here that I'm gonna try to get some of it off before I paint it because just because it is a sinker box, you know, I spent a couple hours building and I might as well make it look halfway decent. It welded up real nice. I didn't weld everything. Of course, I didn't weld everything solid. I just stitched it. I put about an inch, inch and a half in each seam down through there. But yeah, we're gonna try to get some of this spider out of here and uh, we'll be back with you with some paint. Hopefully my measurements are all right. Since I'm gonna bolt this down right here, it's never gonna move, you know. Figured it'd be smarter to use this right here as my bottom. And it's also gonna weigh a whole lot less. Like I said, I would have preferred it to have built it out of aluminum. But it's still not very heavy. It's probably about 12 pounds. It's gonna be about 100 pounds here after we get some paint on it because we're gonna fill it up with singers. All right, here's the blue. There's the stainless. I don't know, I, that looks like aluminum to me. I think it'd look better with that aluminum on it. You don't think so, Landon? I don't know, that blue looks good. So here's the finished product. Our paint's dry, we're ready to put it in the boat and get some sinkers in it. There it is, guys, solid as can be. All right, time to get some sinkers in this thing. Now, obviously the box that I built is pretty specific to my boat, but you could take this same design, put a bottom in it, put a handle on it, make it portable, or you can take an area in your boat that's not used for anything and build one just like it. If you guys want to build something like this and you don't want to use steel, which is completely understandable. If I'd have had the choice, aluminum or polyethylene board or something, I would have definitely chose that instead of steel, but I already had this, it didn't cost any money. And at the end of the day, it's gonna do the same thing. But there's actually a company out there that uses poly board to build sinker boxes. He does a really good job. He's got different sizes and different designs. If you enjoy these kind of videos and you don't know who fishing and stuff is here on YouTube, go check him out. He does stuff like this all the time, DIYs out in his garage for fishing ideas, whether it be for boats or just bank fishing, he does it all. So he's got a video coming out real soon, or it might actually already be out by the time I put this video up, but he's gonna have another idea of how you can build a sinker box to organize your sinkers. It'd be more universal from boat to boat. So go check that out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. So yeah, I've almost got my boat back together and then it's back to fishing, guys. Uh, this is one of my favorite times of year to fish, so we're gonna be spending a lot of time out on the water. If you're new to the channel, check out some of our other videos. We mostly catfish, but there's no telling what we might do. I just figured I'd share this with you guys, just something a little different. I love to catfish, but I also like to fabricate stuff and uh, build things, especially things that have to do with fishing. So if this is something you'd want to see more of in the future, hit the thumbs up. Uh, let me know you like it because I'm always doing stuff like this out in the garage. I just never really share it because I don't know who's interested in it. But I want to thank you guys for watching. God bless you guys. We'll see you out on the water. Nice. We got two different colors of paint to choose from. <laughs>